truckmountforums.com. Hey, Rob Mallon here with Truck Mount Forums. Today I'm going to bring you another tip. This tip here is going to be talking to you about a soft feather touch valve. And the advantage of that is it takes a lot of pressure off your wrists and everything when you're using it all day long, every day cleaning in and out, especially if you're cleaning high pressure, it just snaps on you and really bothers you when you're cleaning. So I recommend switching over to a soft feather touch valve. A lot of people have done that. I know all of my wands and all my trucks have been switched over. And by the way, we sell these in the Truck Mount Forum store. All right, let's get started. I'll be glad to show you how to do it right now. It's actually very simple. What you're gonna do, get everything out of the way first. Get this out of the way. Loosen it up. And like I said, I replaced them on all, all of my trucks and I've really enjoyed it quite a bit. And I'm sure you will too. Now sometimes these screws have been in there for a little while, they stick a little bit, just grab a little soft mallet and get started out of there. Probably will generally pop right out for you, no problem. You might leave it in there as a, a guide for this. And then this back one here is going to be a little more tougher. You just move this around a little bit and it should pop out for you. Shake it, there we go. Alright, then back it out of there. Grab yourself the appropriate wrench for this. There we go. Loosen that right up. And there you go, you got that out of there. Now, it's going to have a little hex nipple in there, you're going to need to take that out also. To get that loose, go ahead and put it in your new one. Take a look at it. It's got a little arrow and it tells us where the water flow goes, but you should know just all by the way it clamps onto the bracket. Okay. Now, before you reattach everything, make sure you get yourself a little bit of Teflon tape. Run it around there and keep it from leaking. So start everything finger tight first to get everything in place. This you're going to need to tighten up a little bit before you put it on. Get it right where you want it. Okay. After that, slide it back up into place. Grab the screw. Get it lined back up. His finger snug on the bolt. At this point, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and tighten these up.
You want to put these down nice and snug, but you don't want to overdo it. Never overdo it anything. You got Teflon tape in there helping you out, so you really don't need to overdo it. Once you feel a seat, you can go just a little bit extra. You get it right where you want it. You can make one more revolution, no problem. Teflon tape for that too. While you've got a part, you might want to go ahead and take apart the filter too and go ahead and clean that while you got it apart. Uh, I recommend cleaning at least once a week that filter in there. It catches a lot of debris, keeps your jets from getting clogged. Some people don't even know it's there. I've had people bring me a wand before, and it's completely caked. Their water pressure's nothing, hardly. It's amazing they were able to even clean. All right. Slide this down. There you have it. Nice and soft now. Very easy to use, like a feather touch. You're going to be really surprised when you're using it and wonder how you ever did without it. So that's all there is to it. Stop in another day. I'd be glad to show you another tip. Thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in to Truck Mount Forums. And don't forget to check out supplies.truckmountforums.com. Thanks a lot and have a good day.